So hey everyone, here's how to do the TikTok edit style in Premiere Pro, so let's get started. The first step is to create your project, so of course you need to name it, and then just set the project location where you want it to be saved. The next thing you want to do is click this icon over here at the very top right, and make sure that you're in the effects workspace. You can see that I already have my edits and my sequence over here, but just ignore all of this. What you need to do is create a new one, so just right click over here, it should say project and then the name of your project file, so just right click anywhere here where it's empty, and then and head over to new item sequence and I recommend going with 1080p and then this one over here or if you prefer you can do 24 frames per second instead of 23.976 a lot of people do tend to use 30 frames per second for that smoothness but it doesn't really look that good in my opinion especially if you are editing tv shows but if you're editing games then you can do 30 so I'm just going to go for this one over here which is ARRI 1080p 23.976 if you want to you can name your sequence I'm just going to leave it as this I don't really care about it and just click ok now as you can see we have an empty sequence so the first thing we're going to do is change the settings so head over to sequence sequence settings you can change the editing mode to custom now the frame size is basically the size of the video you might already be aware that one by one is a square aspect ratio so it could be something like 1080 by 1080 and uh, four by three is kind of like square but a little bit wider so it could be 1440 by 1080p and of course 16 by 9 can be something like 1920 by 1080p but it can also be 1280 by 720 and so on. I'm going to go for something like 1200 by 1600 and then just click OK. So now it should change and it will look like this. If you want it to be square instead what you can do is change it to 1440 by 1080 and instead it will look like this or if you want the video to fit a phone screen I guess you could say then you can set it to 1080 by 1920 and it will look like this as you can see however I'm going to be sticking to 1200 by 1600 the next step is to download your clips and have them ready so one method would be to go onto YouTube and just search for a scene pack so for example I've searched for Walter White scene packs which is basically a compilation of clips including the character copy the URL of the video and just paste it into a converter to mp4 unfortunately i cannot show you any converters but a quick google search will show you plenty so when i search youtube to mp4 you can see there are plenty of websites many of them will be unsafe so just be careful which one you click on once that has downloaded open up your file explorer and just drag it directly onto the timeline most likely it's going to come up with this message just click this button over here keep existing settings you can see that there are black bars visible at the top and the bottom so we need to scale it in so head over to the effect controls and for the scale you just want to increase that you can just click and drag it and then pull it to the right until the black bars disappear so that looks fine I'm going to do 150 and now you can pick your clip so click C on your keyboard or just click the razor tool over here and just make a cut so I want it to start here and then and here let's say so now I have this segment of the clip that is ready so I'm just gonna get rid of all of this I don't really want this you can remove this by right clicking and then heading over to ripple delete this will push all your clips to the left so as you can see this segment is now at the very start and just repeat this process so for example this clip make a cut and just delete whatever you don't need and ripple delete to get rid of the gaps so now I'm done I've got my clips ready you can see that I don't have any music and that's for copyright reasons and also because I don't really want to use music but you would probably want to match it to the beat of the song the next thing we're going to do is reposition the clips so as you can see the character is not in frame so we're going to use the first value of the position and just pull that to the left or the right depending on your clip for my clip I need to pull it to the left so that the character is in frame just like that and just repeat the steps with your other clips just make sure it's in frame the next step is to add some sort of high quality effect even though it's not actually high quality in fact this can ruin the quality but people find it satisfying to look at for TikTok type of edits I guess you could say so if I was to show you the raw clip and then with the sharpened look it looks like this before after you can see it looks more high in terms of contrast even though we did not increase the contrast so for this look you need to head over to the effects box and just type in sharpen Under Underneath the blur and sharpen folder you'll see these two effects sharpen and unsharp mask drag them both onto your clip and you want to pick my setting so for sharpen it should be 20 and for the unsharp mask the amount should be 50 the radius should be 50 and leave the threshold at zero then you want to close this so just click on the arrow next to it to close it hold control on your keyboard to select both of these effects and once both of these are highlighted right click and click on copy highlight the rest of your clips i'm not going to select the last one because i've already applied it to that one so i'm just going to select the ones without the effect and just click ctrl 
V. This will paste the effects across all of the clips you selected. The next thing we're going to do is color correct or color grade depending on what you want to do. Many people do get confused with the terms color correction and color grading. They are not the same thing. Color correction is when you have to make something look as natural as possible but that is not what we're going to be doing. We are going to be color grading so that the clips look better than before. So previously we were using the effects box. Just head down to where it says Lumetri color and click on that. Here you can change up the colors so if you want to you can set the temperature to something like 100 and it gives it a warmer look or if you do negative 100 it'll make it colder. Saturation is well the saturation. The lower the amount the more monochrome it looks. The higher it is the more the color stand out. This clip is very dark so I'm going to turn up the exposure and what the exposure does is control the brightness so something around 2.4 looks fine. Increasing the contrast makes the colors strike out a little bit more. I think it's fine how it is so I'm just going to leave it at that. The highlights are basically the brighter part so if I was to decrease it you can see that this part stands out less. I don't really know how to explain shadows it's in the name it's basically the shadows but I'm going to leave it at zero. Whites are the whiter parts and blacks are the black parts and these are both going to be left at zero because for some reason it keeps messing up the quality. You can see when I turn it down it looks like this and that looks fine so I'm just going to collapse that and I'm just going to apply the same method to the clip so for example this one it's a little too bright so I'll just turn down the exposure maybe increase the contrast uh highlights I yeah I think I'll increase it a little shadow should be a bit lower I think it looks fine so yeah just apply the same method across all your clips next we need to add an exposure transition that looks like this and we're going to be using Lumetri color once again but as you can see we've already applied the settings so to avoid messing with these settings we're going to have to make a copy so head over to the effect box search for Lumetri it's spelled like this and scroll all the way down underneath color correction it'll say Lumetri color and just drag it onto your clip the effect controls open up the basic correction for the new Lumetri color we just made scroll down and we're going to be keyframing the exposure so make sure you're at the very start of your clip and keyframe the exposure by clicking on the stopwatch next to it set it to something high so i'm going to do four you can pick a higher number if you want to so like six for example head all the way to the end of your clip just one keyframe back so not to the very end because that would be the next clip just one keyframe back like that and then set the value to zero which will create a new keyframe right click on this second keyframe and click on ease in if you're happy with your transition save it as a preset so that we can use it across all of our clips. So to do this you want to right click on the Lumetri color effect, make sure it's the right one and then click on save preset, name it whatever you like so I'm just going to name it exposure transition TikTok and just click OK. Now if you head back to your effects box and search for the effect it's going to appear as a saved preset so you want to apply this across all your clips so simply highlight and just drag and drop it onto your clips. And the final thing we need to do is add the actual transitions so for this we need to create an adjustment layer so over here right click again new item adjustment layer make sure your settings are correct they probably will be correct anyway so just leave it click on ok and drag it above your clips make a cut at the end of the clip so that we don't have all of this just left over and get rid of it search for the gaussian blur effect underneath blur and sharpen and drag this one onto the adjustment layer set the blur dimensions to vertical at the very start you want to set it to 300 and keyframe this as well by clicking on the stopwatch. Head about three keyframes ahead, so one, two, three, and set it to zero. Head between your first clip and your second clip, so just there, on the frame where the next clip starts, and set this one to 300. Head about three keyframes back, so one, two, three, set it to zero, Head three keyframes ahead, one, two, three, and then three more, one, two, three, and set it to zero. So it should go 300 at the start, one, two, three, and then it's zero, and then it will stay at zero until we reach this keyframe. So it goes zero, and then once we reach the middle right there it should be 300 and then one two three it'll be back to zero repeat this process for the other clips so head between 300 three keyframes back one two three zero six keyframes ahead one two three four five six and then zero in some cases you will not be able to move three keyframes ahead or backwards because your clips may be too short so you can just do a two frame distance so one two and just put that there and to the next one one two set that to zero one two set that to 300 one two zero keep repeating this until you are happy with your results and that's pretty much all you have to do so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace